Phytoplankton are tiny organisms that live in the ocean. Um, they're everywhere, but they're so microscopic that you can't actually see them with the naked eye. They play a very important role in our ocean's climate. They form the base of the marine food web, so everything else that lives in the ocean eats, to some extent, phytoplankton. But they also play a very important role in regulating climate. They absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and produce oxygen. In fact, about half of the oxygen in the air that we breathe actually comes from phytoplankton. They also help to lock away about one third of atmospheric CO2. So they really do play a fundamental role in regulating climate. So for monitoring phytoplankton, one of the most effective tools that we can use is satellite ocean color data. Phytoplankton are microscopic. You can't see them with the naked eye. So you might be wondering how on earth we can see them from space, which obviously is very far away. Well, the phytoplankton turn the water a shade of green, and that's due to the chlorophyll in them. That's a pigment that helps them uh, photosynthesize and take up carbon dioxide. With a satellite, we can actually see the colour of the water. That's, that's what ocean colour means. And the key thing about these ocean colour satellites is that they give us global, high-resolution images every single day, something that would be completely impossible with traditional methods like using a ship. So a ship can only travel at a maximum of around 20 kilometres an hour. So to sample the ocean in the same way as we do with a satellite in a single day would be completely impossible. Ocean colour has been around for a little while now, but of course in the old days when they used to look at the colour of the ocean from a ship, it wasn't very informative because you could only see a small patch of the ocean. And it wasn't until ocean colour satellites were launched that people really realised that such a wealth of information could be got from something as simple as the colour of the ocean. But by looking at the colour, we look at the green, we look at the blue, and the ratio of those tells us how much phytoplankton there is. The greener the water, the more plants are in it. It kind of makes a logical sense. And so it's a technology which really came into its own with satellites, because before that, you just couldn't get the global coverage that you can now. Mm -hmm.